What's up, Kid family? Thank you for tuning in. And if you guys aren't aware, I had some 2019 Acura RDX wheels that I picked up from the dealership for a complete steal. Now, we ended up flipping these wheels for about 85% profit, $300 profit. The guy that bought them was a buyer from OfferUp. He picked them up for his 20... 2009 Acura MDX, okay? And I didn't look into this car or if the wheels fit but check this out the other day i was on offer up and i noticed those wheels are for sale again from that same buyer the guy that picked them up for me just posted them up about one or two days after purchasing them and i'm curious i'm like why did he sell them is there something wrong let's move back here so you guys don't have the glare in your face so i go ahead i check up the specs on a 2009 acura mdx and the wheel bolt pattern Lord behold, the 2019 MDX is a 5x114 wheel bolt pattern and his vehicle is not a 5x114 wheel bolt pattern so it definitely is not going to fit. Homeboy just made a terrible mistake because he neglected to figure out what his wheel bolt pattern is. Just because you have an MDX from 09 doesn't mean it's going to fit rims and accept them from a 2019 man. Terrible mistake and now he's selling these wheels for exactly what he paid for. Hopefully, I hope somebody gives him $650, but he's not making any profit off of it like me. But this is where you guys need to make sure you're you're doing a little bit of research before buying these wheels because this happens every day. You guys purchase wheels, you don't know what fits. I mean, fitting is just the simple thing, right? Make sure the wheels have the same wheel bolt pattern as your studs. And you just gotta Google search this, type in, what's the wheel bolt pattern on my 2015 Honda Civic? It's always there. It's gonna pop up and populate on the web. So don't neglect that. That's the first and most important thing. If your wheel bolt pattern is not the same, don't even bother getting the wheel. Some aftermarket wheels have a dual bolt pattern. You can run a five by 100 or a five by 114.3. So some aftermarket wheels, you can fit two sets of um, wheel bolt patterns. Otherwise, if it's a factory wheel, it's just one bolt pattern, so be careful. And one more thing, guys, that's very critical to make sure a wheel's gonna fit is the bore, hub bore of the wheel and the hub, okay? So if your Honda hub is 64.1, you can fit anything that's bigger than that, okay? So most aftermarket wheels are 73.1 wheel bore, and those will fit. The bigger wheel bore, you can put on a smaller hub bore but you will need a hub centric ring for that to make sure everything fits tight uh, fits nice and tight the problem is if you're trying to put on a wheel that has a smaller wheel bore than your hub bore so if you got a 64.1 millimeter hub bore you can't fit a wheel that has a smaller hole in it because it just won't even fit on the hub so at that point you're just SOL, you just made a big mistake too. So again, guys, just a quick video. I'm gonna summarize the two most important things to make sure the wheel fits on your car. One, wheel bolt pattern. Check it out online what your vehicle wheel bolt pattern is. Then check out what the wheel bolt pattern is, okay? They have to match up. On the wheels, behind the wheel, it's always engraved the bolt pattern. So you'll see it, make sure you look for it. And then again, the hub bore of your vehicle you can find online. Just do a quick search. What is the hub size of a Honda Civic or Accord or whatever car you have? And you want to do the same thing. What is the wheel, wheel bore size of this car or this wheel? And that will be able to make sure you guys have the information you have and you need to make sure these dang wheels fit because I don't want what happened to him to happen to you, man. That's so unfortunate. He was probably so excited to put these on his car and then you you can't put them on the car man all right guys hopefully you found something inform informational about this video or entertaining man don't forget to like and subscribe share this video if this happened to your friend comment below man because that would suck all right guys peace i ain't here for the money i ain't here for the fame though it might be nice to own a jet plane i'ma do it all for you come along and see us